What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and today I'm bringing you the Trent Alexander-Arnold wallpaper poster design that I made for the uh, 365 days challenge. Bit similar to the last video, not the same though. We've got a little bit of texture, a little bit of background, you know, noise and uh, shadows and stuff to put in and then a little bit of typography and that's it. So we've got obviously Trent himself doing, I don't know, a, a pass probably. <laughs> Um, I'll put the poster up on the screen now so you can have a look at that. So he's basically just whipping a ball in probably to the box. I think I vaguely remember watching it, but you know, whatever. Um, so he's doing that. We've got a nice little grungy background going on. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to learn how I made that. Now, there are a few brushes and stuff in it that, you know, that um, I don't have to like link below. So you might have to find some similar ones, but I'm going to leave all the texture in so you'll have the texture at least, so you won't need to make it yourself. But I'll obviously show you how I made it and, you know, what I went through to make it. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to it. Um, thank you so much for all the followers on Instagram. Obviously, if you haven't followed already, go check that out. And all the new subscribers, love to see it. Uh, and without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So So guys, first things first, you're gonna to need to download your texture pack. Now, the texture pack's gonna look a bit like this. We're gonna have the textures, which is all gonna be in here. We're gonna have the you'll never walk alone text, which is on the background. And then we're gonna have Trent doing his, you know, his, you know, whipping the ball in. So we got that. So first things first, we're gonna create a new document. So if we go to a new document, we're gonna go 2060 by 2700. Standard for Instagram, obviously it's a little bit larger than 1080 by 1350 or whatever it is, but this is just so you can use more high quality images and you know get more in the design because it's bigger. You're gonna do 2160 by 2700, create. And now what you're gonna need to do is add a gradient fill. So, so what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna go down to your adjustments down here and we're gonna go down to where it says gradient. So this is a gradient fill. This will just fill the background with whatever color you want. So what I've got is one that I've already created. So this is the one I've created. Now I'm gonna show you the color codes. So Basically, you've got to add three of them. So we've got six, nine, zero, 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 zero. So that's the dark red. And then we've, if you don't know how to add a new one, right? So what you need to do is go like that and then just add a new one. So just click on the bottom, like along the bottom. And then this one's going to be EF0000, another light red. And then we've got this light one as well. So this is going to be FF2222. To begin with, this will start off just being black and white. You can obviously click on these little squares down the bottom and then change the color and you know, you're good to go. So we've got that done. Now you've got here some settings. Now you can change the way the gradient is. I've kept it just at 90. So you've got the light at the top and the dark at the bottom, just because I feel like it makes more sense because you, you know, darker at the bottom, you've got foot shadows and stuff. And it just makes a little bit more sense for him to be like that. So we've got that. No need to reverse or anything. Scales 100, that's fine. So we just click OK now. So that's your first step to creating this background. Now, what I did first was I went and prepared the image of Trent. Now this image has got like different effects on it. Um, if I, you know, go into it a little bit. It's got a camera filter, so that's how it started out. It's got a camera filter and it's got unsharpened high, ma uh, high pass on it. So if you want to learn how I did that, go check out my uh, image improvement video. So I'm not going to go through it all again today because it will just waste time. So if you go check out that video and then come back to this, if you, you know, if you want this, well, if you want to learn how to do it like that, um, if not, just let's carry on with the video. So we've got that image there. And then if you can see down here, we've got a shadow. Now this shadow has motion blur on it. It's got a side by side motion blur at 20 pixels and it's got a little bit of a ripple. Now the ripple is just to make it look a little bit wavy, as you can see if I zoom in. Um, it's got it's got like a little bit of waves going through it and it just makes it look a little bit more realistic really. So we're gonna grab these two and we're just gonna drag and drop them in. So once we've actually positioned, see if you can see like that's, it's literally just a duplicate of Trent flipped on its, you know, on its head. So this creates like a nice glassy effect, I guess you could call it. So if we position him right in the middle, if we can actually find the middle. So that's about the middle, but I'm gonna move him over a little bit. So somewhere around there is nice. And you want to make sure you've got enough of his leg showing so that you can see the reflection. So somewhere like that is good. So that's all we need to do for that. Now we're going to create some foot shadows. So what you're going to do is create a new layer below Trent, the main Trent, obviously, the one that's standing right up um, the right way. And then you're going to need to make a nice, thin, soft brush. So get a soft brush. And then we're going to go to the brushes settings. We're just going to pull this in and make it nice and thin. So this will make it like this. Then we're gonna make it a little bit smaller, reduce our opacity to about 20%, zoom in, and make sure you've got a black color selector for this. Obviously you don't want white because that would make no sense. Then we're just gonna start, you know, doing our shadows. So make it nice and dark around the bottom of his feet because obviously that's gonna be the darkest point. And then you're gonna change this settings to multiply, reduce it to maybe about 80%, that's fine. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to make another layer. So do the same again, change this to multiply. This one is going to be more for like the overall shadow. So we're going to make our brush bigger and we're just going to click like once and then make it bigger, click once, make it bigger, click once, make it bigger. And then we've got a nice little overall shadow. So that's good. And then you can change this to about 80% about as well. And it just gives a nice little ambience around the proper shadow. Um, and just makes it look a little bit more realistic. So we've got that done. Now what we're going to do is add some exposure layers. So we want exposure to darken up the shoe and darken up his leg a little bit. Same with the bottom one, especially the bottom one actually. So we're going to get an exposure, clipping mask it to him. Um, and then if you don't know how to clip a mask, just hold alt and click between the two layers. So alt and then click between, it clips it to it. And then we're just going to set our exposure to something like this, minus 167 and then 0.87. And then what we're going to do is invert this and we're going to select our normal brush again, normal soft brush. And then we're just going to go in and we are going to paint around here. As you can see, just makes a nice little, just makes it look a little bit more real, to be honest. So we've got that and just darkens everything up a little bit. And there we go. So that's good. Now we're going to duplicate this. So hold Alt and then clip that to the, you know, the bottom layer. And then we're going to start painting in this one. Make This one definitely needs to be darker because obviously it's a shadow. Um, so something like that is good. Make sure it's darker. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. So obviously right now it's quite glaring because, you know, we've got no texture or anything on it. But when, once we actually start building this up, you'll be able to see that, it, you know, it's actually really nice. A really nice way of um, doing the shadows. So we've got the exposure on it. And that's nice. That's all you need to do for the shadows, guys. What we're going to do now is add the text in. So if we go back to our text pack, we've got this You'll Never Walk Alone text. Now, this is already set to probably soft light, I think. Oh, no, it's just normal. It's set to 15% opacity, so that's fine. This is just an uh, Anton font, so I'll leave a link down below if you haven't got it. Just type out You'll Never Walk Alone, enlarge it, and that's it. I don't really want to go over that too much because, you know, it's just going to waste your time. So I don't really need to do that. Um, let's get this over the shadows like that. That's nice. So as you can see, you've got a really nice solid background here. So you don't need to fade the text out or anything because it looks quite nice like that. It, you know, you want it a little bit dominant. Otherwise, you're just going to be, it's just going to fade out once you use the camera filter at the end and it just won't look as good. So that's sort of why I've left it like that. So we can turn that off now, turn the player off in the texture pack. Now this is where all the textures are. Now I've left the gradient fill in, obviously, if you guys want to learn how I did it. But, you know, I've shown you at the start of the video, so hopefully you'll be competent with that now. The main bit of this design is this white texture here. So if I drag and drop this in over the top, make sure it's probably center aligned. You're going to make sure this is below Trent and above the You'll Never Walk Alone text. Now, this is a texture that I uh, downloaded off the Internet. So obviously you can well you'll have it now you'll have it yourself so um it'll be in the texture pack you'll have it yourself and you'll be able to play around with it but what i have done is i've taken a brush and i've just basically if i disable this layer mask so that's what it looked like before then i added a layer mask and then i cut bits out just to make it you know not as much so if i do that again disable it it's really apparent on the left so what i've done is layer mask it out a little bit so it's a little bit less so you can see more of the actual design and by doing this it creates more of a focus on trend rather than the texture. So that's what I've done for that. Hopefully you guys understand. Now I have inverted it a bit so it's black and white. It started off like the other way around. Obviously I inverted it. That is what I've done and that's how I created it. So as you can see now here as well along the bottom, the white texture is sort of fading out that glassy, you know, shadow we had, which is good because it takes the focus away from it a little bit. So next we've got another texture. Now this texture is going to be, I don't know what it's going to be because I can't remember what it is, but if I set it to 100 percent and normal so this is what it is it's sort of like a rough grungy texture another nice one for you guys to have so obviously i'm bringing all the textures for you so if you are enjoying the video obviously hit a like button that really helps out the channel um but yeah so set this to screen um and then reduce it to about 30 percent now this gives you a nice little haze over the design instead of just such a sharp rough edge because it's you know it, it doesn't look nice now noise these three textures here paper um and two noise textures these are going to go above Trent, so this this is what's going to bring the design all together. So if I show you now, I'll drag and drop these in. So let's drag and drop these in, make sure they're positioned right in the middle of the design so that they are all there, and then move them above Trent. So let's turn that one off and that one off. So this one is a noise texture, so if I set this to normal and then like that, that's what it is. It's just noise, a really noisy piece of paper so that somebody's you know uploaded to the internet, I found it. So I changed this to soft light, makes it really nice and you know grungy so as you can see really noisy and then you reduce this down to about 20 percent so it keeps a little bit of the noise and it sort of adds it to the background as well which is what brings it together 
So you really want to, you know, start using noises. They make the design all come together a little bit more. If you're using assets that don't really fit together, noise brings them together. So the next one is going to be on multiply. This one is another noise texture, obviously. Um, so this one's just a basic noise. So it's setting this to multiply just makes it all dark. And then we're going to reduce this down to about 40%. Again, adding two extra noises on, again, brings it all together, like I said before. So you know using these does help and then the last one is just paper so this is set to multiply just it's white paper um these are all good textures for you guys so i hope you do enjoy them so it's just you know it's like a you know art paper that you would get in a book um set this to multiply again reduce this down to about 60 percent and there you go so we have all of that done now i know guys you're probably thinking i went through that quite quickly but obviously you can run back through this video and watch it again but it, you know it's quite simple once you've done it obviously the hardest bit is cutting out the image finding the right image that's the longest bit with this type of design so i've already done this i didn't want to you know make you watch me cut it out again because it would just be pointless but the way i've put it together hopefully you have understood so we've layered up textures we dropped in an image and then we basically added a shadow and obviously the glassy shadow along the bottom where his foot is like fades out so so around here so around here and then we've added some type because who doesn't love a bit of type in a on a poster design um, and then we've added noise to actually bring this together so basically guys that's what i've done so we're going to add a camera filter now to see what this all comes out as so if we just go command shift option e to make a screenshot then right click convert this to a smart object so that you can save the camera filter effect you make and then we're going to go to camera filter so guys now we're in camera filter what we're going to do is we're going to definitely boost up the contrast because this is quite you know quite a contrasting image with the type and then the the gradient fill we've got going on uh highlights you can boost those up a little bit shadows and whites you know just play around with those see what you like best texture definitely you want to bring this up because there's a lot of texture in this design so about 25 and then clarity i probably put up to about 14 saturation definitely boost that up to about 10 and then dehaze as well to about 10 this just brings it all together a little bit nicer so as you can see guys if you can see obviously it looks a bit rough like that the grain is just making the white texture merge in better together so that's basically what we wanted from the great uh, the grainy texture so that's why i used it curves you're going to boost this up just to make it brighter and just nicer so it boosts the top up and then the dark obviously at the bottom you can obviously play around with the shadows as well but i like that that's really nice so far now if you are getting some of this like in the corners here like this blue which you probably are um it's okay we uh we're gonna boost the sharpening up to about 25 noise reduction to about 10 and then that to about 10 but for the cut for this blue that i was on about before go to the color mixer go to saturation and then sort of just reduce that down a little bit and then same with this one as well reduce that down to about 25 as you can see it will have gone away a little bit less same with the green as well let's just reduce the green down a little bit and you sort of just start to you know ignore it um but it is going to be there because sometimes when you use camera filter and images, it does, I don't know why, but the colors go a little bit funny. So don't worry about that. So for, for now, that's fine. We're going to go back to our hue uh, selection and just going to change the red, make it a little bit pinker, a little bit nicer. That should be fine for that. Sharpening we've done. Now the last one we're going to do is effects and grain. So this one, we're going to boost this up to 30 again so we can add another layer of grain so bring it together even more. Then we're going to add a nice vignette in the corner, so about 10. So now, as you can see, guys, all this type, the type looks brilliant. We've got the texture overlaid and it just looks really, really nice. So taking your time with stuff like this is really key to making a nice design. I saw a lot of people like this design, so they obviously, you know, wanted to know how it was made. So that's why I'm making a video on it. But hopefully, you know, you've understood what I've done here and uh, the reasons why I've done it. So I've layered it up, you know, with textures and shadows and stuff, but hopefully you have enjoyed the video, guys. One last thing now I'm going to say, let's go and hop over to the Discord. Go into the uh, Discord, guys. Nearly over 150 people, I think. Oh, no, we have, we're over 150 now, so we have over 150 people in here, guys. Uh, it's really popping off. We have loads in the general chat, you know, little pa uh, pattern tutorials, you know, Behance pages, social media handles you know this is where we post all our social media stuff so you can all like each other's posts and stuff so it's great it's a great for new designers this so basically you can all join everyone's free to join you know uh just to hit the link down below uh we've got new designs this is where everyone posts their new designs they get feedback from me and everybody else in the group we all give feedback to try and help each other out you know i posted something here i posted i did this the other day I posted it and you know everyone's you know telling me they like it and everything and just little things like that guys so basically it's a discord where we can all come together and chat and stuff and you can speak to me or speak to 
anybody in here and make connections through the community. So hopefully, you know, some of you do join that if you're watching this video right now. Also, we have texture sharing. So, you know, you can put loads of different textures in here and we can all download them to use. Design suggestions, you can ask what you want. And uh, fonts, even we have fonts. So you can download fonts. And the main one we have, guys, is design of the week. So this week we had a theme of African Cup of Nations. The winner was Parry. Uh, she made this design and it's a great design and she'll get a prize off me. So this is a weekly thing. So, you know, there'll be a theme each week and then you can all participate in that. So if this is something you're sort of interested in, then definitely join the community. Um, loads of people do it. You know, we have loads of designs and it's brilliant. So uh, hopefully you do consider joining. If you do, obviously join and I'll, I'll uh, speak to you and everything. But yeah, let's go back to the design. So guys, back to the design. Hopefully you have enjoyed the video. You know, it looks really good, I think. I, I do like it, actually. I like it a little bit more than the first one I made, actually. So that's great. Um, but if you are enjoying the video, hit the like. And if you want to see more of these videos, you know, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments what you want to see more of so I know what to make you. Because, you know, I'm just doing this off, you know, what I think you guys would like to see. So... It'd be great to hear from you guys in the comments and it really does help out the channel. So obviously thank you to all the new subscribers. Check out the Instagram and I'll see you in the next video.